Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, I'm not gonna explain you everything that's going on with this car. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video or somewhere up here, maybe, uh, where you can actually watch what was wrong with this car and so you understand why we are changing this particular module. The module in question is the BCM, the body control module. Uh, so at the moment, guys, I have the original module plugged in in there. Okay, I got the exact same part number module. So is this part number in there, BV6N-14A073-DG. Accordingly to four, this part number has been replaced with these part numbers JV6T 14A073 and then the suffix VB CB obviously the beginning of the part number is all the same as this as is on the top but all these suffixes are um, compatible with the, this particular car VB CB HB LB UB this particular car is a Ford Focus uh, 2011 to 2014 model uh, is the 1.6 petrol and that's about it really so that's why it is so um again if you want to know why i'm changing this module watch the video and you will understand why so we are going to try this i've never done this guys so i hope this is going to work and i'm not going to be here dwelling too much but um, we're going to try to program this using the pmi function which you can find on Ford IDS or many other tools that have that function. Uh, PMI uh, stands for Programmable Module Installation. And to do that, in my particular case, uh, or if you do have communications with the old module, sorry, with the old module, this is the replacement, with the old module, um, you leave the module connected because what the tool will do is is going to read the module is going to copy the parameters and then it's going to load the parameters on the replacement module. In this particular module, because some of the security functions are part of the BCM or the keys, etc., they are part of this uh, module. The module is part of the immobilizer system. Uh, we will have to program the keys afterwards. And for that, uh, I have uh, the two keys here for this particular car and hopefully we will be able to get this done so with no further ado let's gonna turn everything on get everything ready and proceed okay so in our case here we're gonna go to diagnostics we're gonna go to european we're gonna go to ford accept that let me turn the key on it's going to go to automatic selection. Let's read the VIN number. That's okay. That's correct. This is a manual transmission. Okay, and once everything is loaded, we're going to go on to programming. It's normal that you get all this sort of stuff going on and off, all sort of warnings, etc, etc. 
That's absolutely normal, okay? Okay, and once you get to this screen, PMI Programmable Module Installation. You choose the module you want to do. Obviously, not all the modules you can do through this, but we're gonna go to BCM, okay? Now we're gonna select the VIN number that we know belongs to this car. And then it tells me that if I have the original module, uh, to leave it in there and just press yes. Press yes. We'll turn, I'm gonna cycle, no, the ignition is on. Hmm, that's strange. It's my battery. No, oh, battery is alright. All done. Okay, so I'm not really sure what happened. Um, the battery was showing 12.20 something volts. It looked looked okay to me, but I, I just didn't want to risk it, so I just uh, plugged in the charger. We are now at 12.87 12 12 so let's gonna try this again. You completely failed to communicate with the BCM. So ignition is on, press OK. So switch the ignition to the off position. Ignition is off. I'm actually going to take the key out. Press OK. Now it tells me to install the new module, which we are going to do. Okay, so the new module is now, well, the second end module is now installed. So this is the module I just took off. Uh, yeah, that's been opened. I opened that myself. Anyway. This is the original module, so we are now going to press, oh, let me take this out of the way, let's press, okay, set the ignition to on position, which we're going to do now, I should get immobilizers, yeah, that's normal, obviously, the ignition is on, we're going to press OK, and what the, the IM608 should do is writing the configurations back into this used module. The configuration obviously he copied from the original module. So it's completed, it didn't fail, which is a good sign. Press OK, switch to the off position. Off position, press OK. Switch the ignition back to on, on position. Press OK. OK, so go to the module programming and select program programs, select clear configuration program, select vehicle configuration. So is that the, no, it shouldn't be. Hmm, that's strange, why is he asking me for this? It should just be done and that's it. Hmm, that's strange. We come here. Okay, so the car now is it's not going to start because of, let me try, but it's not going to start because of the immobilizer system. Come on. Yeah, so obviously it doesn't start when I try to crank. So we'll have to program the keys. And I have two lights for the airbag, for the ABS that were not there before. Which I'm going to presume they are because it needs to be initialized the configurations. Okay, so what am I going to do next? I'm going to try to program the keys and go from there.
But before I went and programmed the keys, I just thought I would do the ABS initialization. And as you can see, my lights are already off. Let me just show you that. I didn't cover them up, guys. Okay, so there they are. And they go off as they should be. Uh, literally, I just finished the procedure. So you just came into, um, into your, um, in this case, is under service or odd function or something like that. <clears throat> Once you get into the brake system, uh, you go to, oh, I will show you because otherwise. So service, as you have seen coming back, chassis, braking, sensor calibration, module initialization, and that, there's, there's the trick. So now, yes, we are going to go back and program the keys. See if we can get this thing running. Okay, this is not going well. Wow, this car has been a challenge. So, um, before I actually start the programming uh, procedure, I just thought, let me check the second key I got. As you can see, it's slightly different now. I'll explain to you in a minute. Uh, let me see if this key is actually transmitting for the remote purpose, because I thought if the battery is flat, then it's gonna fail the programming of the remote. And I just thought, let me just quick check. So I went to the workshop, uh, and I tested it with that uh, little red frequency tester I have, or signal tester, and nothing. So I thought, okay, the battery is flat. When I open the battery, this is what I found. So, as you can see, the key has been underwater, something along those lines, completely destroyed. Um, so, uh, at this point, I've cleaned, the, I've cleaned everything. I've tested it on my Z Bull. Uh, for the for the transponder, that's all I need to be able to program. You need two keys to do uh, the programming successfully. Uh, I don't need the remote. I can program only one remote. Um, it works, as you can see. I got the XP 400 here just to do a, a second check, make sure it is working, make sure the transponder is detected. Let me see if I can uh, key information. Maybe is that it? No, he's not. No. Ah, it's key read and write, isn't it? Automatic detection. So it should detect my key, hopefully, uh, as Z Bull did. So that's all you need. So if the transponder is good, we should be able to do this successfully. And uh, then I will program only one remote. Uh, that's just what it is. There is, so it worked okay. So yeah, so my transponder looks like it's good. That's all it matters. So with no further ado, let's gonna go back. And that's the only reason why I got this, because I don't need the XP400 to actually uh, program the keys. So we're gonna go back now. And we're gonna go back to Immobilizer. Okay. <clears throat> so let's gonna go to Ford. Automatic selection. Let's turn the key on. Read my VIN number. Okay. So this is the 2011-2014 blade key. That's correct. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, what we want to do is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is I must start a scan. I'm gonna ignore all the codes for now. So there's two keys programmed, but obviously we need to program the keys again. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna add any keys. I'm just gonna do all keys lost. Yeah, I think that's it. <clears throat> so let's gonna do start at least two keys required okay turn the ignition to the on position okay now we're gonna wait for three to ten minutes and once the uh, circuit access is granted 
uh, it proceeds to erase the keys. We'll press OK. Erasing keys. It's zero. OK. Now, uh, what it tells you, this is how you do it. So we will uh, turn the ignition off, turn the ignition on with the first key. Three seconds, three seconds later, turn it off and remove the key, turn the ignition on with the second key. Three seconds later, turn it off to add more keys, repeat the process. So that's what we're going to do now. Press OK. It's going to do it. So off. Second key. Second key programmed. Off. And that should be it. Not quiet, guys. Not quiet. The car will not start yet. And this is actually a few days later because in the meantime I realized I had to do something and I had to do some research and maybe when you watch this video the hotel or the IM608 will be capable of doing this. At the moment, today, he can't. We are now, I don't know, we are in May 2021. Uh, today, he can't do it. The option is not available, which is the parameters reset of the PATS system or immobilizer system. And what that function does is basically just resets all the parameters and aligns everything. It's just a synchronization between the modules that makes part of the immobilizer system. Uh, the hotel, the uh, MS908P and the IM608 can do it on all the modules. Um, after 2010 or in this particular car, 2011, I'm not sure. I think it depends on the car. It depends on the software on the car, I believe. Uh, you need to do this online. Uh, I've tricked the IM608 in thinking that this was an older car. But the procedure fails. I was expecting that anyway. It was just a, a, a remote uh, um, thought that would might do it, but it doesn't. So anyway, it might be that when you watch this video, um, it's actually capable of doing it, which you're going to watch this video, well, a year's time by by is, is the delay between the recording and the publish of my stuff. So it might be that it's, it's capable. As of today, it can't do it, so I had to go and find other solutions. There is apparently other tools out there that do it. Honestly, for a one-off, so far is the first time I had to do this procedure. Uh, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna spend any money. So I found someone, actually Portuguese as well, that is doing that for me online. Uh, we did a little bit of work already, but something didn't went quite well. Um, and uh, I'm just waiting for him to become online again or to be online again. And he's doing that remotely for me. He has all the, IDS, FDRS, online accounts uh, with access to the security systems, etc, etc. So obviously you can do all that for me. So in a minute I'll show you the car running, hopefully today. But yeah, so after that procedure, which I could do everything with the M608, unfortunately it failed and I couldn't do the parameters reset or initializations as is also called. So just standing there, I'll show you in a minute the car running, but that's that's pretty much the procedures you need to do, guys. Um, unfortunately, that last one, I couldn't do it, but, well, is what it is. Okay, guys, and literally, it just finished this stuff. Oh, dear me. So I'm just going to show you. I have two keys for the core. So I'm going to show you that it starts okay with both. Okay, now I'm going to try the second key. And as you can see, it started absolutely fine. <coughs> and this is going to be the end of this video, really. So, procedure completed and the car is nearly ready to be delivered. So, with no further ado, guys, uh, I do hope you enjoyed the video. I do hope... There's some information here you can find useful. If you are stuck uh, in, and you're not really sure what to do next, these are the steps you need to do. Um, and that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you do have any questions, any comments, put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.